I'm back on the trail of finding you more must-have Amazon products that I absolutely love. Most of these are beauty and fashion. I have a ton of fashion. Let's get into it and find out what these Amazon must-haves really are. Hello friends, I'm really glad to be bringing you more Amazon finds. These are some of my very favorites. They're some of my favorites from the month that I've been testing for makeup. And there's some finds that I've been finding for fall. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really tired of the heat. I'm ready for it to be a little bit more fall so that we can cool down just a little bit. All right, let's do this right now because a part of it is what I'm wearing today. First of all, I always like to show you my outfit and what I have on. And I am so jazzed about being able to wear a little bit of denim in a jacket right now. But I also found this spaghetti strap top, which comes in a bunch of different colors, and it just kind of elevates the look. It goes underneath this, and so it's not so heavy as to put on a long sleeve shirt, so you can wear it right now as we're transitioning and as things get a little bit cooler. So if you notice in the beginning, I just have on the spaghetti strap top, and then I took and I put the belt on, and instantly I looked like I had a figure, and I thought that was really good about it. And then when once I put the top on then or the jacket on excuse me once I put that on then I even looked like I had a little bit more of a figure so really if you're looking to dress up a style you don't have to go you know super dressy you can go casual just kind of dress that up with what you have and if you noticed I had that belt in there well that belt actually comes in four different colors and it comes as a set and the sets have all different colors in them it's very stretchy and it just has the regular class that you put together. I love having different belts that you can wear under your jackets or under your sweaters as fall comes around because it really does help elevate your style. And if you're somebody that doesn't have a waist, just put it right underneath your boobs and it kind of gives the illusion of you having a waist, especially if you're a little bit more on the petite side. It's just really good. All right, All right. so what also I have on, and I've shown these on my channel before, are these beautiful hummingbird earrings that have the mother of pearl sh or the shell on there. And then on the bottom, it's a bead or a pearl down there so pretty with the gold accents and i just absolutely love these i wear them all the time they're one of my favorites and then i've also shown this on my channel before this is a lariat necklace and what it does is you can um, extend it if you want to so that it can be longer like this and you can also cinch it up so that the tail of it does hang down a little bit but it has the pearls on one side and then the gold on the other side so pretty it's one of my very favorite pieces another piece that i've absolutely been loving is this new watch okay so the watch itself just has some great detailing about it and it does have the little rhinestone set in the bars that go across and i love the fact that it has some really cute ways that it clasps or the links that go to it i love the rectangular head on it and i also love that it has the bling or the little rhinestones all the way around i can also show it on me so that you can see what it does and if you have a bigger wrist or if you have a smaller wrist it's fairly easy that it's not an easy way to show it. <laughs> it's fairly easy to take on and off. So this is a beautiful watch and I have been loving that. All right, next up I in the lineup is this really nice sweater that I have. These are sweaters. I showed these um, at the end of last year, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but these are really nice sweaters because they're super long duster sweaters and they're very true to size. And I will show you in a picture right here where I took off the Levi jacket and I put this on instead. It just kind of gives a splash of color on top of that top that I'm wearing and you can see it very easily but it's really a nice weight sweater as well and I don't ever wear these cardigans buttoned up but you certainly could it's very true to size I wear a large and it works really good on me it's not super heavy so going from summer into fall or you know as the weather changes this is one that you could put on in the evening or have on in the morning it does have the pockets and it's a duster length so it hits me about down to my knees and I love that about it it's really pretty another shirt that I had on my last video was a waffle knit uh, shirt and it is in that same berry color. I think berry and reds are going to be my color this year. I'm just kind of gravitating towards them a lot, but I really like how light this again is. This is super comfortable because it's like a pajama material, but it's a cute shirt. It has the tie in the front, as you'll see, and it does completely cover the butt. I love that about it. And it does have a longer sleeve. This is really another one that I like, and it does come in a few other colors. Now I'm just now. gonna change out this earring and I'm gonna show you this 
other set of earrings that I got that I really like. This is just a little cubic zirconium earring that has a round halo of the cubic zirconiums all the way around it. This is a very stylish dressy earring that you can wear anytime and with any outfit and it doesn't matter what you have on. Like it, it would definitely go with what I have on even though this is jeans and this is rhinestones. It definitely pulls that together and I just, I think they're so pretty. They're very inexpensive and yeah. Another sure. earring that I wanna show you is this rectangle gold hammered look earring. I think these are so pretty. They catch the light so nice as you're moving. They have a lot on this particular page that I will send the link and you'll go over to the page and you'll see. I just love all their different styles. I think that I have probably bought maybe four pair or five pairs from their styles. It's They're just really pretty even though they're fashion and none of them are really heavy and I like that about them. All right, another fashion item that if you have been around YouTube, the YouTube beauty community very long, you're gonna know exactly why I bought this. I found this on Amazon and it says be kind. And who do we think of? Miss Lisa J. She is such an amazing woman. Her whole premise is BK Beauty, which is be kind. And I just love everything that she stands for. So when I saw this, even though it's not from her company, I had to grab it. And it's just an oversized jersey knit tunic. It does have the pockets on the side. It's long sleeve, so going into fall, that's gonna be nice. It's kind of a t-shirt material, so it's not super heavy, just so you know that. They have a bunch of different sayings, but I had to get this one in honor of Lisa because I think that she's fantastic and Definitely her message of be kind is something that I really want to support. Earlier in the year, I shared with you guys a bunch of capris that I was wearing. It was one style, but I bought them in like a ton of different colors because they were so super comfortable. Well, I went back and I started buying the pants because they're every bit as comfortable as the capris, maybe even more so. They're kind of a twill material. So it's not a super heavy material, but it's not super light either. So as you're going into fall, they're definitely going to be something that you're gonna be able to wear. These are like a skinny leg. You know, I really think that they could be classified as jeggings because they look like that and they're just so stretchy. I love that about them. They have the elastic waistband. Your girl needs an elastic waistband. Ever since I had all of my issues with my stomach that, yeah, I just need an elastic waistband. And I was one of those people that said I would probably never wear an elastic waistband, but I'm here to tell you, this is my savior these days. And they stretch all the way through. So they stretch completely each way. And I really do love these. And they, I think they only come in a few colors, this one, but hopefully they, for fall, they will get in more colors because I really do like it. I also picked up this tunic top. Now I wore a black one of these that was short sleeved on a video and you guys went crazy for it. It has the three buttons down on the side. The difference is with this one and the one that I wore then, this one isn't ruched like that one is around the stomach. It's more just straight, but it's still every bit as cute. It's off the shoulder. It comes down again over the button just below the hip. So it really is cute. The strap on the side comes over the shoulder, just a cute shirt. I'm really loving that. And by the way, this is a little bit heavier material so you can wear this in the winter and be real cozy in it. All right, I wanna show you another pair of pants. And the reason I wanna show you these as opposed to those that I just showed you, this is a little bit more of a dress pant and it's got a little bit more of, even though it's a skinny leg, it's got a little bit more of, oh, I would say a trouser look to it. So it does have the pockets in the front and it does have the stretchy waistband and this fabric again is super duper stretchy so it's going to completely stretch with you and that's so comfortable both of these pairs of pants i can wear them all day long and never feel like i'm ready to get into my pajamas at the end of the day the other thing i liked about this is because it is a dress pant i got it in the tall version or the long version i think they had a petite a regular and a tall i have a really long inseam and it's really hard for me to find a dress pant where i can wear a heel with it or a little bit of a heel with it and still have them look long enough. I got a 14 in these. I wish that I'd gotten a 12. If you're like on the border between a 12 and a 14, I would go to a 12. If you're like on the border of a 14, 16, I would stick with the 14. So just maybe just a slightly bit 
big on this one. It is still really stretchy and really comfortable and I love that. I love cozy slippers and especially the ones that you can just slide on because I am somebody that at times I have back aches. I can't bend over very well and so I need something that I can just slip on. Plus these have the rubber grip on the bottom. They've got the knit right here. They do come in a ton of different colors and I love the faux, the faux fur that goes around them. They're super soft and the sole that's in here, it's the memory foam so they're really comfortable that way too. So these are that and I think that you guys will really enjoy these. And then the other one that I wanted to show you and I'm really excited about these because these are Clark's. If you don't know anything about Clark's footwear, they are so comfortable. They are designed to be a little bit stylish, but more than anything, they're just designed to be very comfortable. They have the buckle on the side of them right here that I think is so cute. And then they have the zipper. I can usually slip my foot in and out and not be a problem. I wear a nine, but I bought a nine and a half because I wanted to be able to wear a little bit of a sock as the winter comes on. And oh my gosh, the step inside of here or the sole inside of here is so full of memory foam and they are so nice. They're so nice. I had been having those the problem with my toe and my foot hurting right on the pad of my foot and I couldn't wear anything with a heel at all, but I wore these the other day and wow, they're so great. They have a really nice grip on the bottom of them too. So that's good about them and I'm really glad that I got them in a half size bigger because I do wanna keep my feet as warm as possible in the winter. So yeah, these are super comfortable and I do think that they come in a few different colors and just, yeah, I'm glad to find Clark's on Amazon. Of course, I'm gonna show you what purse I have. I was really surprised at this because I didn't think I was gonna buy a red purse this year, but when I saw this one, I liked the color of red to begin with on it. The other thing that sucked me in is the M on here. And this whole print right here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but the whole print right there is M. It is the company's name itself. But inside, the way that they designed it, I love the gold accents, by the way. Did you see the tortoise shell that it has right here on the chain? I just, so cute. And the inside, it does have the different pockets. It has one divider, but it's not like right in the middle, which I really do like. It's kind of off to the side, so you have a little bit of a divider. Then the regular pocket that's in the back, and then this has a zipper pocket as well. And then the two pockets that come in the front with a normal purse. And then it does have a zipper on the back, but it has the side ones as well. The other thing that's really nice is that the bottom's flat. So when you set the purse down, it's gonna set up. It's not gonna tip over. So this was one that I was like, yeah, I really like that one. And I thought that it would go really good for fall, really pretty. Man, I have to sigh heavily because you knew I was gonna get a purple purse. So dang cute. I love this muted purple. I think it's so cute. This is kind of a medium sized bag. This for being this size of a bag and for it being one that is a satchel like this, this to me is super light. I was shocked at that. I love the gold detailing. I love that it has the flap that goes over. I always like that. And I like the gold that it has, the accent of the gold that it has on here too. And the zippers have the gold accent. So really fun. And then inside it's just typical. It has, you know, just one pocket, has the two pockets in the front for cell phone or glasses. And then the zipper pocket does have the zipper pocket on the back. I really do like this size too. If you're somebody that doesn't like carrying a ton of stuff, but you have a little bit more than you could do in a crossbody, this would be probably perfect for you. Okay, so that is everything in fashion. Let's talk a little bit of beauty. Now, if Anne Marie is here, I want to say thank you to Anne Marie for turning me on to these wonderful um, farmhouse fresh oils. This is a dry body oil that comes in bunch a bunch of different fragrances and these are so yummy. This one is vanilla bourbon and then this one is agave nectar. These oils smell so good and you know what's great about them? You can layer these too. If you decide that you want to just put a little bit of the body oil on and then you can put your regular fragrance over it, they seem to go with so many of my fragrances. I just think they're great. They have a definite base of 
the vanilla in them. Uh, my favorite is the agave nectar of the ones that I got. I do like the vanilla bourbon, but I really like the agave nectar a little bit more. And they can go together too. They really blend well together as well, but they are really beautiful. Anne was telling me that she had somebody stop her in the supermarket to ask what it was so that he could buy it for his girlfriend or his wife. I thought that was so cute. And if you find a fragrance or an oil like this that you really like and then put your regular perfume over it, that they, they blend together so well because they're not competing. And that's what I really like about this. They're subtle and yet they're kind of sexy and they're kind of just pretty when you put them on. So I'm really enjoying those a lot. I will say that they're not the longest lasting. I will say that I, about our maybe five or four, four or five, somewhere in there, I noticed that I, I can't smell it anymore. However, other people can still smell it on me. So it's still there a little bit. Before we go any further, I always have everybody ask me about my glasses that I wear. These glasses come in a packet of six and they're blue light reading glasses. I really like these glasses. Um, they hold up really well. My husband uses them and he is so hard on glasses. He uses them as well. Um, I won't say that he doesn't break them because he does. Cause like I said, he's just Mongo when it comes to that kind of thing. But for me having the blue light because I work on a computer all the time is so essential. So yeah, if you're in the market for some new readers and you wanted to try blue light that will protect your eyes, these come in a ton of different colors. They do come in a few different styles, but these work really good for me and I just love them. The few beauty items that I wanted to share are actually beauty items that I have been testing and I've shown in other videos and they're ones that I have really just grown to love and so I thought I would put them in this Amazon video. So this is the Neutrogena Radiant Setting Healthy Skin Peptide Setting Spray. Radiant setting spray, excuse me. It's a beautiful setting spray that works so good at holding your makeup on, but it also doesn't make your makeup look flat. So it's not a matte, but it's not like it's got a, a super glow in it or any particles or anything in it. It just works really well. I've been loving it to set my makeup and kind of melt all the powder that you use together. And just, it really works really well. And I've been loving it. Another product that I've really been liking and I didn't know that I would like it until I got it was the Age Perfect Blurring Face Primer. This is a primer from L'Oreal. I really like the Magic Face Base that all of you told me about. It was so pretty, but this one is a little bit lighter than that. So I can still feel it fill in the pores really well, does really well. And it helps to make that barrier between the moisturizer that I have on and the foundation that I'm going to put on. But the pore filling is there and I love that about it. Now I do want to tell you something that I discovered that I kind of thought, okay, this is really good. So I really like the Lumi Glotion that they have as well. It's something that I've talked about on my channel for a very long time. I just really love it. It makes a beautiful glow on your skin. A tiny, tiny bit is going to make a really pretty glow. You can wear it as a highlighter if you want to. It's not a super high beam highlighter or anything like that. This is really pretty, but I'll tell you what, if you put these two together, you have something like Charlotte Tilbury's uh, Flawless Filter. It, it's so close. It's really, really close. Plus, the amount of, of product that you're getting in here is quite a bit more than you would get if you just bought Charlotte's and probably like a third or a quarter of the price for both of these. So keep that in mind next time you're thinking about doing the Charlotte Tilbury thing. I also recently repurchased one of my favorite mascaras and it is what I have on today as well. It's the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara. I love this mascara. I can't believe that I just don't just keep this mascara in my rotation. It is a silicone brush or a plastic bristle brush. Um, if you're not interested in that, just keep that in mind. But I find that this mascara separates my lashes so well. So well, This one doesn't flake and doesn't smudge on me and I just absolutely love it. I can build my lashes, get a ton of length and get a ton of separation because even though my lashes are, t are pretty long, they're not terribly voluminous or I don't have very thick lashes. So this is a really great mascara for me and I've been loving it for a long time, but I forgot how much I loved it until I repurchased it off of Amazon. Another product that I showed in a video this month was this brush and it's a dual sided um, foundation and concealer brush that is a dupe 
for the it brush that everybody goes nuts for but i think this is like eight dollars or ten dollars so i use this to do my makeup today except for my under eyes i always do that with a makeup sponge but this is really good so spot concealing right here and then just buffing in or you know stippling on my foundation this works so good and you really don't need to spend that hefty price tag to get a really quality brush i I have washed this a couple times already. No bristles have been lost. Yeah, really liking this one. This one lives in my purse. And then I also wanna show you this. This is a bar light that goes up underneath your cabinets or anywhere that you might need light. You just turn it on and it does give a whole ton of light. I was really surprised at how much it lit up my counter. I, I was really shocked. So what it has is it has stickies that you put this magnetic bar on up there if you need to and then it can come down anytime what's cool about it is it doesn't run on batteries it you can recharge it too so you can pull it down and recharge it if you need to or you can just recharge it where it is it's just magnetic on there you can pull this down anytime you want to you can switch rooms with it if it's not where you need it to be I thought this was absolutely genius. I love this thing. I use it all the time. I also want to show you, now you see behind me my flickering candles. Those are battery operated candles. But what I decided is that as we're going into fall, I wanted to try a different color to decorate up here. And I got these and they're so pretty. These are the amber ones. And so you can see the difference right here. I don't want to drop the ones that are on my lap. So this is the amber ones, and then this is the clear ones. I love the clear ones. They're perfect for what I have back there, but I'm going to be changing my decor, and so I wanted to try these amber ones. I think they come in a smoke color, and then I think they come in a frosted something too. So these come in a lot of different colors, and these are so cute because that little insert or the little flame thing that is in there, it makes it look like it's really flickering because it the battery moves it so it's so cute and plus this is actually wax right here they actually have put wax down in there so it looks like a real candle it doesn't look like something that is so fake okay if you stayed till the end of this i am so glad you did because i'm about to announce the winner of my 100k giveaway this is full of goodies now first of all we have an international winner that gets a 50 dollars gift card in their currency jackie him Heymans, I think that's how you say it. She's from South Africa. She's going to get our $50 gift card up here on the screen. Her name is going to go up there and you're going to see my email. Go ahead and email me, Jackie, and I will make sure that you get your $50 gift card. Congratulations to you. And then our other winner is A.A. A. Dolan. You are the one, you're from North Dakota, you put on here. So you're the one that's going to get all of the fun goodies in here. A.A. A. Dolan, your name is going to go right up here with your little thumbnail right here here. My email is going to go there. Email me as soon as you can so I can get your goodies out to you as well. Congratulations on winning those. If you didn't win today, don't get discouraged. I have a huge box in my closet and I'm going to be doing giveaways all along the way. I love doing them and I love giving back to you. I hope that you did enjoy seeing fashion and beauty finds from Amazon from me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know if there's anything on Amazon that you have found that you're absolutely in love with that I need to try. I always like hearing those things. I'm going to put up a video right here that you can click on and go see my previous Amazon video and maybe you'll find some fun finds in there as well. Please take care of yourselves. I love you so much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.